Hey guys, so my name is Terrence. I just wanted to show a video that like I spent a lot of time getting frustrated because I just didn't know what to do. You get in like a little slump where you're, I mean there's always something you can do when you dink around on your computer. You go into your studio, you sit down and you're like, hey, you know, there's always something. You can organize your library. I mean you can you can learn how to use different things in your sense or how to automate stuff. But um, one thing that helped me out when I was learning how to use FL Studio and I was learning how to like really create music and stuff like that was uh, taking full advantage of the piano chopper and I couldn't really find a video that really explained you know what you can do with it or how it can affect but it's really neat so I'll show you guys let's open up a uh, let's open up something that everybody has we'll just use uh, FL keys. Everybody's got FL keys. So, um, so say you want to start with, um, let's see. You guys probably can't hear that. So let me see if I can turn that up a little bit. All right, you guys should be able to hear that now. Um, so. Let's go back in the piano roll. Um, so say you just you did like a basic. Uh, let's go with like a C. Uh, why are you doing that? What the fudge cookie dough? Yeah, and if uh, your thing ever does this where it's super frustrating, just click on none. And then you got to get super precise with it though, or it'll just it'll sound really goofy when you're trying to do everything. So, but yeah, just do that, and then go. I like to keep it online just because it's easier for me. But you can drag it, and then you're good to go. So your time markers are still you're still good there. But if you want to like. So say you got something like that, just some super basic, but you're like really struggling to figure it out. So if you take and you hold control down and you highlight them all, hold all and press the letter U and then it shows your, it chops it up. Um, it, it does some crazy cool stuff. You can mess with all this stuff, but I mean, I don't really much care for it. Um, I like to keep that stuff the way it is. I mean, it, and plus it, it keeps your, it adds the note velocity so one note doesn't like overpower the other note. And if it has a cool accent, then the computer automatically recognizes that in this piano roll chopper. So, I mean, you can manipulate the time, you can make it super fast, which might be really cool if you really like ARPS or something like that. Um, I remember it just took this from this basic note pattern that we did but um yeah, I mean you can keep it slow you can bring it back to and that could just be you know that could just be like your your bass notes or whatever or something to get and then you're gonna throw like a higher lead over it or something but I mean you can do whatever but another thing that I mean, I used this thing for a long time and I had no clue and I just got a while here to check out this little thing. I was like, oh, what is this? And it has all this cool stuff. So, oh, mine's already clicked in here because I was thinking around to see what I wanted to do for this tutorial. But um, if you go back to, so this is what should pop up. This is where it should pop up when you press that little folder. So it should come right that it should come right to here um so you i mean you got arpeggios and you've got all these you can choose from but i mean it, it can get crazy going in there um and then you chords i don't much use the chords because uh, there's some tricks and stuff which i'll be posting a video later on like super easy way to come up with chords and i mean 
really easy, a lot easier than most of these videos will tell you, like, oh, you gotta know music theory and all that bullshit, but I mean, you do to an extent, but it's not something you have to know to make a cool chord progression, or even a progression at all, for that matter, but, um, so I was playing around, like, a, I like arps here and there, so you could do a major, and then, remember, there's no time manipulation, so we can see how fast we want it. So that's pretty neat, but um, yeah, there's so many in here. I mean, each one of these things does something different. I mean, you can go down like you can, if you're into trance. So and this could be a start, but super cool. Um, so we'll just use this. It's whatever. Um, super cool little technique that I use so I'll go ahead and I'll copy that or I'll clone it and then there's nothing there right but if you j if you copy this and then paste it and then replace this with nothing now you have your ghost notes so when you click back on this piano roll you can hold control highlight whoops when that happens, you just double click up here and it'll go away. But hold control, highlight everything, and you can hit the delete button. And But look, your notes are still there. So if you want to mess around with different stuff, but you still like, say you like where this one, where this one holds. See, I hate how it switches time like that. It really frustrates me. So... Um, so, it's, yeah, I mean, you really, really like where this one's at, but you're like, oh, you know what? Maybe this needs like a, maybe this needs like a triplet right there. Oh, well, that don't sound right, so maybe you want to start, start there or something. I mean, whatever, but you like, uh, or you don't even want to, you just want to use these two, but maybe you want to, maybe you want to swap these around, like put it there, there, and there, whatnot, and then move it over, and then put one there, and there, and put this in the same spot, so, I mean, if you're really satisfied with how that sounds, and that's not something you do, or you could leave it, you could leave those notes right there, and you could, um, you could swap this out with like FL keys. We'll just use FL keys because we're still using it. But so now you've got this. But um, why do I keep clicking the wrong thing? But yeah, go back to your piano roll, and now you've still got that other one rolling, right? But now you can figure out what you know. You can figure out your bass. You can figure out your bass. Your bass keys. But I mean, you could get funky doing whatever on your bass lines, and then, yeah, you, know, you can always switch it so to get rid of that. But I mean, then you can always switch it and make your own sound or use a preset or whatever the hell you want to do. Whatever. I mean, whatever you're, whatever you like. So, I mean. I like using presets. I like manipulating somebody else's preset, I guess you could say, because I mean, somebody's already made it, but I like making my own. And I so, I mean, these are just the stock. These are just the stock ones that come with silent. But, but so he's that, and you know, like. Let's, maybe I want to throw fat that bass in there, but let's see the bases. So and then your sub comes in. You want something 
I mean, I didn't keep going on this, but I mean, you, you can get the idea, then you can play with it, but then, you're like, you know what, oh man, I heard something different with my bass, because you started having the bass, and then you decided to go Little flares, crap, whatever it is, you know. It'll be a little hard desires, but yeah, you know, that's just a cool trick with uh, keeping it as a sample. So just replace and then place it with none. And then now you just have your, you know, just have your stuff going there. So, but um, when you do do that, I would suggest renaming, uh, renaming the color. Like you could rename it base or whatever, and then um, just choose a color, and then that way it'll keep it simple. Because then when you pull up, when you start getting too crazy and overwhelmed with how cool that piano roll chopper is, when you um, that's not what I want. When you come in here and you start labeling your pattern, um, you know you're gonna want to keep this base because that's what it is, and then make sure you choose that same color. And then when you click on it, it's going to be so, it'll be a lot easier for you to recognize that. Because once you get a bunch of different stuff, you'll you'll really be getting up a creek without a paddle. So, but, well, thank you guys very much. Um, if you have any other tricks or tips or anything, to, or you feel I left something out with that piano roll chopper, or you want me to make another video about something please leave it in the comments and um i'll definitely definitely get right on that so thank you guys hope you guys have a killer killer night and make some music